Morning legends, it is Monday morning 20 past 6 and it is cold and dark. I'm here at the Perth Hockey Stadium, I've got Spurry behind the camera. We're here doing a job for our good mate Waldo, capturing some content for this men's Australian hockey team. We were training here this morning so yeah I'll fill you in a bit more about that in a minute but we're just going to get some footage for these guys. I think it's all just trusting yourself. Prepare, practice, and then trust yourself. But don't try and reinvent the wheel and, and back your instinct. Morning legends, it is 10 past six on Tuesday morning. Just about to set off for a run. It is actually quite warm surprisingly this morning, but it's dark. My alarm went off at 5.30. I laid in bed for about five minutes and I was contemplating whether to get up or not. I didn't feel like it. I was tired. I didn't sleep so well last night. It was cold, but I kept saying to myself, do what others won't so that you can do what others can't. It's a great quote that I've um, listened to a lot, repeated to myself a lot over the years, and it got me up out of bed. I wanted to do something that most people aren't willing to do so I can live an epic life and be different, be successful. Um, so yeah, that really drove me. As you can see, it's a bit dark here. Um, I'm about to set off on a run. Not exactly sure how far I'm gonna go. I'm thinking somewhere between six and eight. I've been nursing a sore hamstring lately. I've, been ha I've had a sore left hammy from throwing a lot and also from running a bit um, when I have been running. So I've taken about two weeks off running. Uh, I've been trying to throw off the other foot, throw off the wrong foot, which looks a bit silly, but gives my hamstring a break. Um, so hoping that this run, the hammy will feel okay and I can get back into some proper training. I want to tick the Ks over. I've got some things I want to train for, um, some things I'm thinking about doing. So yeah, looking forward to this. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I'm going to put some tunes on and get it done. Hey legends. Just finished the run about a minute and a half ago. Uh, 7.27. In average pace 429. Felt like I was going quicker than that. I'm never sure with this Garmin, but we'll go to take it. Always so satisfying getting it done when you don't feel like it and getting it done first thing in the morning. As I said, I didn't really want to do it, but I made myself and when you finish, you got the endorphins running through your brain and your body's just pumped with oxygen. There's not many better feelings. It's quarter to seven, it rained a bit, so absolutely beautiful to run in the rain. I just had to manage my, just had to manage not getting my phone wet, but so, so good guys. If you've got the opportunity to get up half an hour early and exercise, get it done. There's no better feeling, no better way to start the day. Legends, it is 11.30 Friday morning. I've got the boys in here in the office, Reedy, working on some uh, little projects we've got going on online. Will is working on some uh, video stuff, and Spurry is behind the camera doing some other bits and pieces with a video. Trying to create lots of content for you guys, trying to keep it interesting, trying to give value. Um, it's been a, a really busy week. I'm really grateful to have these guys in here helping and, and trying to grow the business, grow the brand. Wednesday was the new um, start of a new financial year, so lots of stuff around the end of financial year, having to get our accounts sorted and, and things sorted by the Tuesday night, so that's been busy, um, but just been head down, trying to get stuff done. Uh, gym this morning was awesome, and then it's coaching this afternoon. You will be.
Nice, G. A little bit early, but good shape. Good. No, I think that's fine. I like what some balls you're sort of having a little dip and some balls you're not. So I reckon the little dip will help you get into the ball. Try a little one, yeah, little shoulder dip as I'm about to throw it. Nice shot. Well done. Yep, good awareness. Squeeze your left wrist, toe to the sky. Good, beautiful. Good miss, really nice miss. That's better than slicing. So you've sort of gone there and then you've just sort of almost top spin it, better than like a, a slice. Just lower your back lift in your setup. All good. It's okay. A little bit, sort of a little bit, yeah. That's all right. Keep it out, just try and keep it out second slip. Keep it wide. That's a nice shot. That is class. I kind of like that lower now. Up. Yep, awesome, awesome. Yes, George. Quality. Feel it. Learn from those two. Good. Good, good. Think about, think about, so you've got a few different stages. So the first thing you're thinking about is you like your grip toe of your bat and then as you're moving you're sort of trying to think about not going that way a bit. Yeah. After you hit, get in your stance and sort of go through your swing. Okay good, I want you to try and not go like that, I want you to try and keep your hips more side on. Yeah, okay. okay, if you go that way it's going to take your swing, your hands will fall, sort of go this way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if you can keep, if you can stop that back hip from yeah. coming around and then you can sort of hold your shape a bit longer. Okay. Good, good. That's a lovely on drive, G. Well done, nice defense. Okay, back leg's been really good. Good. Now, if you go back to, okay, focus on head and shoulder right over. Go back to that for a minute. That's all right. Nice, G. Okay, head coming to me. Like head and weight here. Just as I throw, you sort of go that way. And when it's wide, it's fine. But when it's straight, you sort of got to go that way. So as I go to throw and you do your little shoulder press, it's sort of just trying to manage your head this way. Nice, nice, nice and late. George, that's awesome. Something I've been thinking about lately is because women's cricket, you don't have to be like have a perfect technique. You don't have to in men's cricket, but because there's faster bowling, yeah. you do need to. So I reckon for you, I reckon it's awesome that they've that you've sort of been working this. But we we try and get you getting your hands up, yeah. and from there you can create power. You can put pace on the ball. Yeah. If you're sort of a bit stuck, a bit sort of stuck in here, and that's the top of your back lift, and it, I reckon if we can sort of get you still. Hands go up and you're in a, like a really powerful, strong position. Then from there you can drive and you can sort of drive here. From there you can sort of pull. Yeah. So do you reckon get lower in my stance? Mm, not necessarily. I think that's just about what feels comfortable and what allows you to go forward or back. But you can try it. Yeah. But it's just what you're doing. Like in the past, I reckon you've been just here. Yeah. But you've already started to get where we're going in the right direction. Yeah. So that's something I think we just keep working on. So start low and then pick them up as you move. Yes, that's class. Great contact. Nice, G. I know you throw and bowl left-handed, but are you left-handed? Like you right? So you've got a huge advantage. Exactly, so use that. Use that strength. Nice, George. Nice. Not chasing perfection. We just want to be repeatable and effective. Yeah, that's a serious on drive. 
Hitting the ball with so much more power today. So much more power. And it just goes to show, like, you've got some good information, but you've just put some work in. You've just grooved it. It shows what's possible in a week. Like, just shows the harder you work, if you've got good information, the better you get quickly. Thoughts? Okay. Good. Yep. Okay, good. Good. So timing. Find your timing. Find your rhythm. Not bad. Not bad. Keep trying to push and almost sit in your heels. Keep trying to push here. Shot. Shot, George. Beautiful swing. Nice, Georgia. Nice straight lines. Good. Take your time. Yep. Yep. As you set up, squeeze should be like 80, 20, 90, 10, sort of left hand dominant. All good. Take a deep breath. Just chill for a sec. Go through your mental cues again and then set up. Well played. Nice shot, G. Okay, just, just the last few, not the second last ball that you slapped nicely. You've just sort of gone this way, and then your bottom hand has to take over. So keep, and you're thinking about four things, so it's hard to remember everything. Keep trying to sort of go at the ball with your front shoulder. Nice shot. Good. Nice, good girl. Great position, great position. Coming at me. Left wrist strong. Shot, G. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah, good. What do you want moving first? Okay, good. Yep. I feel like I'm leading with my leg right now. Sometimes you are. Yeah. So sometimes you're a bit this way, and then that way, and then you're like that, yeah. and then sometimes you're going and getting in a good position. Yeah. So keep, so the idea is to try and be still as you can at release, yeah. and then lead with your head and front shoulder, wherever the ball is. Yeah. Nice. Good. Okay, just, just, so you're really internal at the moment. You're focusing on what's going on in your body. Yeah. So let's just go really external. Just try and hit the next six back past me. Just think about all I want to do is hit past me. Good. Go really external. Where's the ball? See the ball, hit it past me. Good. That's a lovely shot. Good girl, heads right over. Nice, George, two more. Yeah, lovely shot. All right, go back internal, start thinking about your body, focusing on certain elements of your shape. Good, toe down a little bit, then pick your hands up, toe down. Just check where your bottom hand is. Yeah. That's it. Nice shot, George. Okay, I want you to review when you have a look. Make sure you slow that one down and look at, it's, it's be interesting to see from behind, it's probably not as good, but try and see what position you're in. That was awesome. Yeah, that is class. So for me, I've just, I've said it before, but if we can understand what is it, why do you sometimes go there? Yeah. And why do you sometimes go there? And if we can understand those two, yeah. then we just have to focus on going there, like whatever it is you're focusing on. Yeah, I feel like that one I was focusing on getting that straight back. Okay. So, I'll try to focus on 
Okay, keep focusing on that for a bit. Yeah, good. Because when you get that shoulder leading and head to the ball, it's excellent. Good. Good, George. Nice shot, Georgia. Ah. Good girl. Yes. When it's wide, it's okay to slap it a bit. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Nice, G. As long as you hit it late. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Just chill. <laughs>